What we're going to take a look at next is the idea of opportunity cost. We've already talked about opportunity cost. We know that it is whatever we have to give up to get what we desire. In this case, there are only two choices, so our opportunity cost is very easy to calculate. Let's first look at France. We know that one worker in France can produce either five wheels of cheese or two tubs of sauerkraut. Therefore, they are equivalent to one another. I can either have five cheese or I can have two sauerkraut. If I know they're equal to one another, I can find out what the opportunity cost of one cheese or one sauerkraut will be. To solve, to find out what the opportunity cost of one wheel of cheese is, I need to divide both sides of this equation by the number of cheese I can produce. That number is, of course, 5. So I divide both sides by 5 and find that one wheel of cheese is equal to 2 fifths, or 0.4, tubs of sauerkraut. What that means is to get one wheel of cheese, I have to give up 2 fifths of a tub of sauerkraut. We can do the exact same thing to find out what the opportunity cost of one tub of sauerkraut is. We know that two tubs of sauerkraut equal five wheels of cheese. If we want to solve for what one tub of sauerkraut is, we have to divide both sides of the equation by the number of sauerkraut that can be produced. That is, we divide both sides by two, and what we come up with is one tub of sauerkraut equals five halves, or 2.5, wheels of cheese. Now looking at those fractions of what one cheese equals and what one sauerkraut equals, they're related to one another. They are reciprocals of one another. That is, the numerator and the denominator are flipped. Now what this is telling us is that to get produce one tub of sauerkraut, we have to give up 2.5 wheels of cheese. We can do the same thing with Germany. We know one worker in Germany can produce one wheel of cheese or seven tubs of sauerkraut. So we can find out what the opportunity cost of producing cheese or producing sauerkraut is. This one's already done for us, but just to keep showing how we calculate the opportunity cost, again we would divide both sides by the number of cheeses that can be produced by a worker. That is one so we divide both sides by one, and we come out with the answer, one cheese equals seven sauerkraut. Now again, what this means is the opportunity cost in Germany of producing one wheel of cheese is that they have to give up seven tubs of sauerkraut. Finding the opportunity cost of sauerkraut is going to be as simple as taking the reciprocal, but again, to show how, these, how we can figure this out without knowing one side, or the other, we will do the math. Seven tubs of sauerkraut equal one wheel of cheese. We need to divide both sides by the number of sauerkrauts that can be produced. That would be seven. And then we can find our answer. That answer tells us that one tub of sauerkraut equals one-seventh, or about 0.14 wheels of cheese. Again, what that means is the opportunity cost of producing one tub of sauerkraut is 0.14 cheeses. We are giving up 0.14 cheeses to get that one tub of sauerkraut. You may be asking me, why are these opportunity costs that important? Why do I care? Well, the opportunity costs are going to tell you the outer limits of trade. Germany, if they want more cheese without trading, they have to give up seven tubs of sauerkraut just to get one wheel of cheese. Therefore, if they can trade less than seven tubs of sauerkraut to France for a wheel of cheese, they're going to be better off. They're going to be able to consume at a greater point. Likewise in France, if they want an extra tub of sauerkraut, they have to give up two and a half wheels of cheese. With trade, if they're able to get one tub of sauerkraut and give up less than two and a half wheels of cheese, they will be better off. They'll be able to allocate their resources more efficiently. Now it is important to note that in the real world, opportunity costs 
aren't always constant. In the United States, we grow a lot of crops that people consume all over the world. There are some areas of the United States that are much better for growing crops than others. Are we really going to use all the land in Alaska to grow corn, wheat, potatoes, etc.? Probably not. There is a very short window of time where we would be able to actually grow crops there. And in fact, the land in Alaska may be better used for some other purpose. Maybe for drilling for oil or something along those lines. In our examples that we see with constant opportunity costs, it makes sense to specialize in one product. But in the real world, it will make sense to only give up on the more costly ways of producing certain products, so specialization in one product won't be so extreme.